Hello everyone, it's me again, and today I was watching two new cartoons that have come out on the Disney Network. Uh, Avengers Assemble, which is a cartoon based off the Avengers movie, and a Hulk cartoon called Hulk and the Agents of Smash with uh, Rick becomes some blue Hulk called the Bouncing Bullet, I think. I don't even know. Uh, the Red Hulk's in it, uh, or Thunderbolt Ross is the Red Hulk, and they're all allies now. She-Hulk, a new Hulk called, called Scar, and Hulk himself. So, I figured I might as well review a Hulk toy. Too bad. I've only got this one. This is the Hulk Tech Tank that the Marvel Transformers created a few years ago. And he is a beefy guy. And they did do two different versions of the Hulk. They did the Tech Tank and then they did the Bulldozer. The Bulldozer I thought was hideous and ugly and... A bulldozer is stoppable. A tank really isn't. The only thing stopping a tank is a grenade. Or, yeah, like... The, it made sense for the Hulk to be a tank. Not a bulldozer. But anyway, they had two variants, color variants, for this guy. As far as I know. I have seen repaints as the Red Hulk. Because he was red. And... He is Grey Hulk with all this, all the purple being blue, and it looks really nice, and I've been looking for that one. And there's this version. And I found this version for 99 cents in a value village, and it was totally worth it. He's 100% complete, I think. The only thing wrong with him is happened a couple weeks ago. He fell and he broke one of the clips, but it's okay. And his, these joints, these transformation joints or whatever, they're loose. And yeah. Um, his, let's get to his articulation. He's got a head rotation. And let's get a look at the nice detail. He does look like the Hulk, and I love it. His arms are awesome. He's got a rotation. Another, an in and out at a separate shoulder, a spring, a bend at the elbow, a rotation, and the hand rotates. Um, it can't really rotate, well it can, just the, uh, the uh, armor gets in the way, and that tends to happen. And the hand can open, close, and the thumb can flex. And we even have this kind of joint. But um, I don't think it's documented as an actual gimmick, but because his waist is springed and his shoulders are spring, so that's Hulk punching endlessly. Anyway, let's pick out the other details we can see because this toy is just covered in decals. His chest is armor pecs. His legs are armored and it actually kind of looks like he can fly the way they designed it. Like there's vents in front of the feet and he does actually have toes and each one is smaller. He has massive heel spurs and the back is all armored up and it does kind of look like uh, the shoulder discs when he uh, does that. And he does have a bullet wound right there. I guess that was from one of numerous uh, missile drops. Anyway, let's transform him first things first. Go under here, pull that out, and then there we go. I start with the arms first, collapse that all into one piece. Open the hand, flip that open, rotate that around, pull the arm out, and then 
sink that in, clip that in, raise the hand, put the thumb in, open that, slide it in, and then peg it into the hand. And there's one trick. Repeat said process. But on the other side. Ugh. Yeah, this toy is really awesome. Uh, I didn't really like a lot of the uh, Marvel crossovers, like the Spider-Man toys. I didn't really like, but that's because I don't like Spider-Man as a character. Um, I don't like... Yeah, I, I don't like the Peter Parker Spider-Man, I'll just say it that way. I, I, I find him nifty, but there are other heroes that are way better. Like... The rest of the Avengers. Oh. Oh, all nice. And then the final treat. Stun the barrel. Here he is. Um, he can raise the barrel, and he is supposed to be a gamma tank. And he probably is the gutsiest man ever, having his crotch be the rear bumper. So, good luck with that, Hulk. Um. He's got gold treads, which are nice and very detailed. Vents. All over the place, actually. Is that seriously not clipping in? There we go. Let's see, he's got a vent there, if you can see it. He's got a vent here, a vent here. Two massive over vents. Two vents here. Again here, and then again there. He's bent all over the place. But he is an overly solid, hefty toy. Let's grab a new toy. Here we go. Come on, get out of there. There we go. In comparison with uh, smoke screen, this guy is heavy. He's got heft to him. This guy is ridiculously light and let's bring out Obelisk weighs a bit more but they they're they almost feel the same in weight. Obelisk is a bunch of hollow parts and they almost feel the same. I bet if I took the wings off they would. Let's try it. Yeah, they, they, without Obelisk, without his wings, is, uh, they do weigh the same. But then again, mine, my Obelisk doesn't have feet. So here's the Hulk Tech Tank. And transform them back real quick. Flip up the toes. Flip up the head. Do the arms real quick. Do that way. And there we go. And it just dawned on me that I didn't do his leg articulation, so let's do that now. That's as far as out as his leg is. I guess no, that's as far as out as his leg is going. Forward, backward, a bend at the knee. The knee armor is rotatable, so I guess you can do like that. Uh, and the foot will pivot down and rotate slightly. So, I do recommend him if you can find one for good, a good price. I am looking for the Grey Hulk because the Avengers are my favorite Marvel superheroes. I'm not a big fan of the Fantastic Four. or uh, I like some of the X-Men, not all of them. But yeah, if I had to pick a mainstream team, that would it would definitely be the Avengers. And obviously, vice versa, the Justice League. So uh, yeah, that's Hulk. And uh, I do recommend going to watch Hulk and the Agents of Smash. It is a good, funny show. And uh, see you guys later.